Hey now, welcome to the Race Grooves Weekend Show. It's been a busy weekend for me, not just because it's Independence Day weekend. Fourth of July actually isn't until Tuesday. I'll be gathering with my family at my aunt's and uncle's house. My uncle, the one that helped me build the uh, monster truck downhill racetrack. So I'll be over there on Tuesday. So my delay for getting this video up on the weekend is not because of Independence Day. But I hope you had a good time with family in case you did gather with family and friends for Independence Day weekend. Um, part of the delay was I, I did a video with my son. We did a loot gaming unboxing video. I put it over on my Race Crews gaming channel. Yeah, I got to get to games. I know I got to do. I got to get to do some gaming over there. But I talk about that a little bit in the video if you'd like to check it out. Oh, speaking of which, yeah, look, he gave me one of his. Uh, this was from a pre previous crate. Uh, I forget which one. I think it's Loot Crate. I don't think it's actually from Loot Gaming. Loot Crate. I, I don't understand that. But they were going to have a Loot Gaming. They were going to have racing games. And so, well, I want that crate. Anyway, I talk about it over there if you want to check it out. So uh, that's why I got on this uh, Transformer shirt. It's one of his previous ones. He let me have his shirt. Now let's go ahead and talk about some of the videos I did this week. I did a couple case unboxing videos this week. 2017 J USA with the new Volkswagen pickup. And also 2017 M, the worldwide assortment, which had a whole bunch of new cars. I'll get to that later. Of course, I had truck and Tuesday with some trucks with some sound systems in the back. And I had a couple track videos, track time videos on a big layout. I did some fantasy cars and I also did some realistic cars. By the way, if you watched the video already and you've seen a thumbnail like this, here's the new image that I used for my thumbnail. It's a bit more zoomed in so you can see the real licensed cars a lot easier than the previous image. By the way, Patreon supporters got early access to Truck and Tuesday. They got to see it first. I also gave them a link to one of the track time videos. I've added a new perk on Patreon. There's a $3 and up level, and I've started to add some behind the scenes footage. It might be a story about something that happened during a video or before a video or planning on a video. Or in the case of this week, when it turned out one of my cases were missing a couple cars, or at least it looked like it was missing a couple cars. In the final version of that case unboxing video, I edited it out what I actually said when I noticed two cars missing. But for patrons $3 and up, I uploaded a little video special for them. They get to see what I actually said, okay? It's just a little something extra for those who can join me on Patreon. In the last weekend show, I showed one of the stray cats that I give a little food to. He likes the food I give him. I thought I'd show some of the other cats that are in the area. This one's kind of nice. Black and white. Love that big bushy tail. I keep trying to pet him, but he doesn't let me get near him. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. In my 2017 J unboxing video, 57 Ford Van commented, Hello, Mark. I noticed a tempo on the tuned Beetle in yellow. Looked like it was not on quite right. It looks like it is too far back. Please correct me if I am wrong. Thanks and love watching your videos. It does look like it's a little bit up and to the left. Let me compare it to the D case version. That was in green. If you notice, the full wood deco, nicely centered between the fenders, but on the yellow version, yeah, too much space to the right. Yeah, it's a bit of a tempo error. Some people call them sliders. Eli Vlogs, I just want to ask something. I'm also a collector of diecast toys, but my question is, why do other collectors buy the same model with more than 10 pieces? You can pause it if you'd like to read the rest of his comment, but I did reply to him on YouTube. I shared that some people pick up extras for customizing. Some like to have one in the package and one to open up. Some people buy and sell. And that VW pickup is a good piece. Some people just like to buy extras. Here's my video on the subject. And here's my card with the direct link to that video. It's called Hoarding. For Truck and Tuesday, I showed three trucks with sound systems in the back. And on the left was Quadra Sound. Federico Ortiz, finally, please talk about blings. That's because Quadrasound had bling wheels. Okie dokie. In part two of this video, we'll take a look at a whole bunch of blings. One of the other trucks in my video was Mini Truck, and it had big speakers in the back as well. And Tim on Twitter told me that his was called Sonic Special. Check it out. The international packages, it wasn't called Mini Truck. This one was called Sonic Special. The third truck I showed was the Acceleracer's Baseline. And Tim Hayes commented, when you open the truck bed of the Dodge Ram 1500, you will see it has a sound system in it. He found a fourth truck. This blue version is a more recent one. 
and I took it out of the package and noticed that it has a regular truck bed. It does not have any type of sound system in the back, but I got an older release. Check out this one that has the cover on the bed. When I open up the cover, there it is. Check it out. Look at all those electronics. For my fantasy car track time video, I made a few mistakes. Some of the cars are actually real cars, and I'm not talking about the Diora 2 because Mattel turned it into a real car. Wienermobile, that's a real car. You've seen it on the road. When I look at this package here, I look on the back. Sure enough, on the back, you see Mattel got permission to use the vehicle. Same thing with the Probe Funny car. That's a Ford Probe. That's real. Here you have Zinderfact 4. That's actually a, a, a real car. Well, it's a prototype anyways. And I had forgotten that 8 Crate was actually under license as well. Ford Motor Company has the trademarks. I guess it's similar to a Ford wagon. I'm not sure which one though. I was curious if it was always on there. So I got out the 2003 First Edition 8 Crate. Yeah, 14 years old. That's how old this car is already. That's a nice casting. It does all right. There you go. Copyright 2002, released in 2003. And you look on the back. There it is. Ford trademark used under license from Ford Motor Company. There you go. Official licensed product. It's unfortunate that I've made those mistakes in the fantasy video with the real licensed video with real cars. 60 cars. Man, it took me so long to edit this video. Hey, I got it all right. All of them licensed. Well, that's a little easier. You know if it's licensed or not. You just put it in the license. By the way, 60 cars. You don't want to watch the whole video? Check the comments. Not the description. Check the comments. I made a post with all the time markers of all the cars. So you pick the ones you want to watch. For the 2017 M case. Oh, yeah. There's a whole lot of fantastic models that are going to be hitting the stores. Thank you, Yellow234. Hello, race crews. I'm just starting to collect Hot Wheels. I like your con commentary and your energy. Keep up the good work. And can you use the 2004 Mustang for track time, please? Well, I might use it. I'm not sure. I'm just letting you know. But thank you very much for your kind words. Speaking of the Mustang, Rapid Racer 6. Race crews, if you look at 648, you can see the Mustang below has a wheel error. Well, I better check it out. Here's the pair, and look at the bottom one. Yeah, sure enough, it's got metal flashing. Part of the body, the metal didn't come off when it was in the manufacturing process. I really can't stand these types of errors, to be honest with you, because if a kid were to buy this car, it's not going to roll. I really don't like these types of errors. I wish they would find a way to stop having them happen. I know they make millions of cars, but I don't like this type of error. From that same case, John Osborne. Hey, Mark, I think the Custom 69 Firebird is also a new model for this year. Also be on the lookout for a really fun car named Street Wiener. It's a hot dog car. You know I'll be looking forward to that. And thank you for letting me know that I missed that this was a new model. And another fantastic recolor in this case. The 71 Dotson Bluebird 510 Wagon. Joker Fan 52 asked me, does the 71 Dotson Bluebird 510 Wagon have the grill variation where it's textured or non-textured? There were two in the case, so at least I get two to compare. As you can see, the center of the grill is textured. You can see all those bumps as if it's a grill. Now let's check the other one. Hey, it doesn't look the same, but it's not really a smooth grill. If you notice, it's you can kind of see the mesh there. So I don't know if it's just a lot of paint and it filled all the holes, or is the tooling wearing down? I'm not sure. But I'll give you a side-by-side -side comparison so you can definitely tell what he's talking about. Or at least what collectors are going to be searching for when it comes to variations. This case had some fantastic licensed models. I suggest you keep an eye on message boards or even Instagram. Find the people who do the hunting and find out when they're hitting your areas. The Kmart closest to me closed down. There used to be one in the same parking lot as Target. It was nice to be able to go to Target and then come over and pop into Kmart. Okay, I didn't go to Kmart that often. But now they got Dee Dee's Discounts and Ross Dress for Less. Ross isn't quite ready to go. It's still vacant. They're just getting it ready. But Dee Dee's, they're open. Let's check it out. They don't have a big section. It's mostly clothes. But you never know what you can find here. I don't think I've ever seen them carry $1 items. But, you know, you can find track sets, play sets. Sometimes you can find some figures. All sorts of different things if you look around. Remote control. Decent prices. Sometimes they're the same price that they were originally. But you never know. you got to look around. Sometimes you got to look up high. Now, what do we have here? 
I recognize this. This is the track set, the Hot Wheels Super 6-in-1 track set. I like it because you get the booster. You get the old style curves, the new style curves. You get a loop, some track. It's a good set. The store must have just opened because there was a line of people from the front almost to the back of the store. Uh, I'm going to leave that track set. I got plenty. I was at the Montebello Toys R Us, and I realized it was something that I hadn't even shared in my videos. I don't recall talking about it, but this location has a wire rack dump in. When I first started collecting back in 1998, Toys R Us used to have these dump bins. Collectors didn't like them because the cars would get caught on the wires. But, you know, what can you do? It's not bad because, it, to be honest, it's better than what it used to be. In the past, it would be really deep and the cars would get crushed. This was just not very deep. It's probably not even a foot deep. But judging by judging by the cars that I see here and the way they're laid out and all the fantasy models, uh, I don't have any expectations of finding anything cool. But let me go ahead and tell you about the first treasure hunt I ever got. It actually was out of a Toys R Us dump in like this. It was a 1998 treasure hunt, Scorching Scooter. I didn't get it first. Some lady, some lady got it, and it's like, oh, I seen it in her hand. I seen her pull it out, and she thought it was nice. She was gonna take it. I said, oh, that's that's you got a nice, cool collectible. And she asked why. I said, you see right there, it says uh, treasure, and it's pretty hard to find those. That's kind of that's probably something that you want to keep in the package. And she said, well, I'm just giving it to my kids, you know. I said, well, you know, it would be something special if you keep in the package for them later on. To be honest, if you want to let them play with it, go ahead. But it really, it's something that people would rather uh, keep in the package. And then she said, well, would you like it then? <laughs> oh, sure, of course. I'm not going to turn it down. So my first treasure hunt that I ever got was from a dump bin like this. And it was at uh, Toys R Us up, in the, up there in Alhambra. I didn't find it, but it's the first one that I bought, first one that I got. And actually, the first Toys R Us hunt that I did find was in a Toys R Us as well. Surprisingly, I found the Kenworth uh, 7600. I forgot the number. It's a big truck, a Kenworth truck, purple. Love that uh, treasure hunt, nice and heavy model. That's the first treasure hunt that I actually found myself many years later. I actually gave that Scorching Scooter treasure hunt to a friend of mine. He's the one, you know, Carl, he let me film his red lines. I don't know if you've seen Carl's red lines. It's one of my red line videos. As for this dump in, there are some cool cars in here. But because I'm seeing so many cruise bruisers uh, and no supers, either they didn't get it or it's gone. Okay, Federico, here's a bunch of blings.
Hero number two asks Grace Cruz, do you also know burlesque has different wheels? Yeah, you know what? It's always had different wheels, even since the first edition. And here's the most recent release in a five pack. You can see skinny wheels up front and regular wheels in the back. Hey, you know what the gold shot? I don't know where my loop is where I cut off the sides. So let me just use this one. As you can see, front wheel's not even turning. So you know something's dragging somewhere. Failman wanted to know what is my most rare error. To be honest with you, they're all rare because errors barely happen. But let me show you one of my favorites. Check out Semi-Fest. It has an extra windshield. Yeah, it got an extra part in there. Sometimes you're missing parts. Sometimes you get an extra one. This is probably one of my coolest. Yeah, you know what? Missing parts, extra parts. These are pretty rare to find. On Instagram, Koki1994, ask Grace Grooves, hey Mark, greetings from Bolivia. Can you talk about this Hot Wheels casting, Jaguar XJR12, in the upcoming weekend show? He found one recently in the Auto City series, but their wheels made me doubt about it if it's Hot Wheels casting. Thank you very much, and thank you for your videos. This is what he's talking about. Hot Wheels Auto City, Hot Wheels bought Corgi, and they just got all their cars they were called Corgi Auto City before, so they just turned around, changed the packaging, and called it Hot Wheels Auto City, but it's really, a, it's a Corgi casting. As a matter of fact, if you look on the base, it says Corgi on the base. There's just a bunch of legal information on the back, but check this out. Auto City, got a three-pack. This is a cool piece right here. No, not that one. There's your Hot Wheels Jaguar. I like that one. Doesn't fit on the track, I don't think. I haven't opened it. I'm not going to open this one. I think it's a little wide. But that Hot Wheels van, that's... A lot of people like to collect that Hot Wheels van. On the back, got a uh, garage playset. I don't... Actually, I might have that now that I think about it. Let's see. Wait a minute. Ta-da! Hey, you made it to the third section or you jumped to this part? I don't know. Thanks for sticking around nonetheless. You know, when I, when I start the video, right, first thing I got to do when I'm on camera, first thing I got to do is put on a hat because there's a light straight above my head and it just, look at that glare. Got to wear a hat. Now, it does darken my face a little bit, but that's why I got two lights bouncing off the wall trying to give me light, right? But... So when I start, right, I got to turn on the lights, got to make sure I have my head on. I have a camera above the monitor. Sometimes the monitor is too high, so I have to adjust the monitor to make sure it's not in front of the camera. Well, the light's been sitting there all week. The camera's been sitting there all week. The monitor's been sitting there all week. Might get a little bit dusty. So when I touch something, what tends to happen, there might be a little bit of dust that flies off of one of those things. And it's always funny because Sir Mugman, he always he always notices the orbs, right? Because they look like orbs floating through the air. What was that? What was that? And uh, I, it makes me laugh. I, I appreciate it when he points it out because he looks with such detail. It also tells me he's watching on a big screen. You know, I make it a nice presentation. And, yeah, I try to get on top of things as best I can. But it's really better to see on a big screen so you can see bigger details. But it depends on what you have at your disposal. So... I'm going to show you just the orb from the last week that he pointed out because it was at, right at the beginning of the video. It actually wasn't at the beginning. And I'm going to start it right from when I hit the start and then play on. And you get, you'll see, uh, I got to clear my throat. I got to get things a little bit ready. Uh, I, I might clap my hands to sync sound. I don't remember if I did or not this time. But you'll see how many times it kind of takes me to get started. It takes me a few times to, blah, 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 to get it going. And then when I finally got it going smoothly, right, that's when that orb passed through. I'm not reshooting, okay? I finally got things going. Let's go ahead and check out that orb. <coughs> Testing level 12. Welcome to the Race Crews Weekend Show. You know, the beginning of the video for the weekend shows takes me a little while to get it going because at least those of you who are in school and are not, not, uh, not uh, have a... 
Welcome to the Race Crews Weekend Show. You know those beacon? Welcome to the Race Crews Weekend Show. You know, starting off the video is always the hardest part. Thanks, for mug man. <laughs> I appreciate having you around. I like seeing you in the Race Crews community on Facebook, too. I appreciate you very much. Thank you. And he had another comment uh, last week. I talked about videos being taken off of YouTube or YouTube saying we're not going to show ads in front of those videos. It's, it's people making kids' videos with poop or different. Some of that stuff's being taken off. Or, or adults dressing up in uh, cartoon costumes of popular cartoon characters and behaving in a manner in which uh, it's probably inappropriate for kids and probably, you know, I'm sure those companies don't appreciate what they're doing in the costumes, right? Uh, just some stuff is, is, is kind of being, it's not that bad, right? But like I know one to where they showed one character drowning another character in real water, right? Uh, not cool. What are you thinking? So YouTube's going to stop monetizing that. And I say more power to them. I also talked about, uh, well, that's coming up. Hold on. The Baller 33 TV, sup, long sub, or what happened to the views? I, I assume he took a break, came back. I don't know what happened. YouTube has totally changed, okay? To where, you know, they say grow your channel, get subscribers, you know, and you grow, 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 grow. Well, yeah, I'm getting a lot of subscribers, but uh, either subscribers aren't checking their subscription feed or they subscribe and don't come back. I think what happened is people kind of tend to just look at what shows up on their homepage and don't check the subscription feed. Or maybe they're just tired of the other stuff I do. I don't know. You know, I got to change too and I have to adapt. I got to change because if, if this is my living now, I earn money off of the ad revenue uh, off of this. And that's why I'm starting Patreon as well. Hopefully people see value in what I do for the toy car hobby. And even only $3 and then uh, even a dollar a month. Sometimes it give you early access to some videos. Now $3 a month. Uh, not only will you get early access to some videos, but now I'm going to throw a little... Uh, behind the scenes things and stuff, some stories. I talked about that in the beginning. Um, but as far as the views, oh yeah, I slowed down. I was getting like 10 million views a month and then wow, you know what? Slide, 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 slide. What can I say? There's so many people making content nowadays. I'm trying to compete about against all those people. And I, told, I talked about uh, people with costumes and people doing inappropriate things. All those videos blew up over the last year and a half. We're talking tens of millions, hundreds of millions of views on that type of content. Well, guess what? I get pushed, I get uh, set by the wayside. So that's part of the reason. The other reason is, is that I moved into one warehouse and I changed to another warehouse for the studio. All that moving meant I wasn't making time making videos because I had to move my stuff. So right now I got things set up and I'm going to start. I had two track time videos this past week. Yeah, it wasn't on an old track set. I know, but you still got something new, new content, new car, something different. Uh, so yeah, I'm working on improving my cars. I'm trust me. I am very well aware and I'm working on bringing those back up and next Pablo Ferreira, okay, Pablo down in Brazil. I talked about it in the last weekend show You probably should have just check that out again if you'd like. Uh, I think a lot of people missed it I don't even think it's got 10,000 views so far around 31 minutes and forwards many should listen carefully and think about it especially here you know what, uh, I just want people to enjoy the hobby, take care of your family, take care of yourself, and I want you to enjoy the hobby, right? Ain't nothing wrong with that, and I'm going to tell it like a T.I. is, that's just the way it is. Matthew Henderson, thanks for telling us about YouTube copyright, I'm bringing this up again for a reason. I used to have copyrighted music in my videos, back then I didn't know better, I had a video like that too, I'll talk about that. And he had copyright issues. I was eventually able to remove all of the copyright music. I hope people learn from this. Yeah. So look, uh, I put a Pearl Jam song on a video probably seven years ago, right? It got claimed and then Germany said, you can't have this video. We're not going to show you this video in Germany because you have copyrighted music. And then after all, I realized, I realized mm, I'm not going to use that stuff anymore, right? And that's why I always use YouTube music because it's we can use it, right? And the link's down in the description. I use it all the time. And uh, you know what? That's what I, I'm bringing this back up again. There is music you can use. Uh, you know, there's some websites where you can buy the music and then I think it's endemic sound or something. But there's places that you can use music on YouTube. Or just go to the link down below and YouTube has music that you can use. The link that I have down below is free music. And if you look on your, you can find a link there as well to find popular music that maybe you can use. They might claim the video, meaning they're gonna get the ad money. They allow you to use the song, 
but they get any ad revenue on it, right? It's up to you. That's what you'd like, right? Personally, I'm not going to do that because they're going to take all my money just because I use their song. What about all the work I did putting it in the video? That don't count? Um, so, there is music. Check the link below. Also, you know what's happening on YouTube? People are spam posting saying, hey, come to my channel. I have free music for you. Don't use that music. Because you don't know if it's their song. You don't know where they got it from, right? Next thing you know, you use their song and then they claim your video. I don't know where they got that stuff. I don't know them. So if anybody's posting links on your video, more than likely, YouTube is putting those comments in the spam folder anyways. But I would just encourage you, don't use any of those links when somebody posts a comment in your video, okay? Why are they spamming? You got to think about that. Magic Man Red Blaze. I would for sure get major red cars when they come out, but I won't buy as many major red cars compared to Hot Wheels because they're about $3 for a car compared to a dollar for a Hot Wheel. But you end up paying for quality, and that's nice about Major Red. Yeah, I'm not saying to buy, if you buy 20 Hot Wheels a week, I'm not saying go buy 20 Major Red a week, of course. It's nice to have something in the collection, right? Opening features, a lot of suspension, licensed cars, nice graphics and details, uh, nice cardboard. It's the, I think they stand up by the, do they? I got one right here, hold on. Yeah, they stand up by themselves. I'll be doing unboxing. Toys R Us, uh, actually, Major Red sent them to me. They're going to be at Toys R Us, so I'll be doing all of those very soon. We're going to be showing up at Toys R Us this summer, and that's the deal. That's what I want to encourage you. Buy a little something for the collection, right? Uh, besides, you kind of want to support them, too, because you want them to stick around. Otherwise, you're stuck with whatever the mass market. Uh, that's okay. It's, if you like to collect that stuff, I buy that stuff. I'm not saying don't buy that stuff. I'm saying give them a look, just like Johnny Lightning, Green Light, all those other brands, Okay. Justin's Sports Channel. I love the weekend show. It's one of my favorite shows you do. Thank you very much. You know what? It takes me two long days to put this together. Even though this one's late, I worked on it a little on Friday, a little on Saturday, and here's Saturday, Sunday night, instead of me being home with my family, I am wrapping up the weekend show a little bit late. Digger fan 549, you're the van, buddy. You're one of the rare YouTubers who is honest and tell it like it is. Why do it any other way? See you next time, my friend. Yeah, I'm going to try to be as honest as possible. This It's just because, you know what, my reputation is at stake here, okay? Anybody wants to talk crap, you know, what are you going to say, okay? I'm not saying I'm perfect, but pretty much what you see is what you get, okay? Now, I can't, uh, I can't exactly, you know, there's certain things I could talk about and certain things I can't. But when I can, I try to tell it honestly, right? I, I, want, I want to respect you. I hope you respect me in return. Brian Bramlett, hey, I found an M2 Pez Hauler Super Chase. Congratulations, only 168 pieces. Could not believe it. Love your videos. Thank you very much. Yeah, and you know what? I seen the uh, Pez Haulers in Walmart. I didn't pick anything up for myself, but I did look to see if it was a chase. I'm going to look. I'm going to look. I might not have bought it. I don't remember what the chase was. Clear wheels? I forgot. It's easier just to look at the production number, and it's, if it says 168, you know that's the chase piece. Blue City One Disney, thank you for your videos. We've been watching and have been subscribed for years. My grandson cannot get internet where he lives. Every time they come over, we watch your channel. Thank you for helping Grandma make some more special memories watching Hot Wheels. You're welcome, Grandma. And I'm, thank you for allowing him to watch, and I'm glad that you, you can trust me. And, well, weekend show, he's probably not interested in the weekend show. He likes that other fun stuff, right? But all that stuff, family friendly. The toys are for ages three and up, so my channel is going to be for ages three and up, okay? Zilla Fan 98, hello, race crews. Have you heard that Hot Wheels also released a silver grave digger this year? It's quite rare, and it's only available in 164 scale. It's not rare at all. Mass produced, let me tell you, Bubba. Let me tell you. Once, <laughs> they were hard to find at first, okay? But when I seen them starting to make pegs, and they had the labels for the Silver Series, Anniversary Series, whatever it's actually called. Uh, they're not going to be rare. They're going to be mass produced, my friend. I'm not saying don't buy it. Enjoy your truck, but just don't think it's rare. It's not. Trust me. Because you know what? I can go to the I can go to Walmart right next to me, and I can buy ten of them just sitting there. They're, they're not rare, okay? But have fun with your trucks, okay? Dewey's Hot Wheels Mania asks Grace Cruz, "Can you show us your Super Treasure Hunt collection?" I have far too many to show, right? You figure Super tre Treasure Hunt started in 2013, and if I have every Super Treasure Hunt since 2013, 15 a year, that's 2013, 14, 15, 16, and we're halfway through 17, 
That's 45. We're talking almost 60 uh, super treasure hunts, right? And it's too many to show in one video. And I don't have them all in one place. And I don't focus on super treasure hunts anyways. Maybe someday I'll get to uh, some other cool stuff. Like speed wheels. No, was it speed wheels? I think they were called. I forget. Had the Bugatti Veyron in there. Mattel don't make that no more. Ferraris were in that line. Mattel don't make Ferraris in any line. Uh, yeah, I think I should do that one. I, I better look it up. I don't think it's speed wheels. Hang on. Speed machines. I knew it wasn't speed wheels. But anyways... Yeah, I got a whole collection of those. So, so since I have those kind of in like one box, yeah, someday I should get around to that video. Super treasurous. By the time I make a complete collection video, guess what? Next month, my other videos no longer, it's not complete because I'm missing something, right? Anyways, thanks again, everybody, for checking out another weekend show. Those of you who appreciate it, thank you very much. Those of you who support on Patreon and get perks, Got something for you. Check it out. Thank you very much. And some other videos for you to enjoy. Have a great weekend. Those in the USA, happy 4th of July. Those of you outside the USA, please help. Please bear with us during these trying times. Thanks. Bye.